I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to woo. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Jessica and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. You thought I was done with this game, didn't you? Today we're gonna take a look at the after scene scenes because there's some missions that are kind of closing up the storyline and I want to take a look at a couple of them before I start doing like the side missions and everything because I am still doing that too by the way. So we're going to kick this off with Brock's funeral. This is something that I really really needed to see and needed to know how it's gonna go especially because I want to know how Sindri is doing. It sucks that Atreus can't be with us though for the funeral but yeah I, I, I really need to see how he's doing. As always if you guys have been enjoying these videos remember to leave a like. Your support does help this channel and lets me know you guys want me to do the side missions because I need to know you guys want this or else you know what's the point of me doing this on camera i could just play this off camera <laughs> Kratos, okay hon. hey we got a matter to discuss i gotta talk to linda Let's see what, what she's is wrong say. uh no no nothing it's just uh, don't know if you've heard but we're gonna say goodbye to brock and svartal time a funeral yeah remain at rab's tavern in neither valir we will be there okay let's go start the the funeral for brock um, so I know there was one mission with Sindri. Remember how, uh, he talked to Atreus about, um, uh, taking away, uh, him from the Lake of Souls and everything like that. Um, I wanted to do that mission, but I feel like it'd be better if I did it as Atreus instead of Kratos. So we're, we're probably going to do that. Um, I, I'm going to go back to my older saves before this mess happened, um, just to see... Because I feel like Sindri was really, you know, I know he's mad right now, but he was really close with Atreus, so I feel like he opens up more with Atreus than he would with Kratos. <laughs> oh man, I wish Atreus could have came with us. It would be nice to have him here. Oh. Oh wait, these are all Odin's men. Right. The area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. There yes, might be an some. Occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Uh, the paperwork that man created for me. Bro. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one. He taught me a I like that they're sharing stories of him. Of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. Uh, okay. Time to say goodbye to Brock, everybody. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I've ever met. <laughs> Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. Oh, this world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. Okay. We'll wait for you there. <laughs> I, I just started the video and I'm already crying. <laughs> I think it's just because Kratos said you're the one of the- he called him friend, you know? And like I said before, Kratos is not one to express emotion, but the fact- aside from his family, of course. But, like, the fact that he's calling him friend- Mimir, sorry, that killed me, his comment, you're the dumbest creature. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it means a lot that Brock was our friend. He, he was an asshole, and that's kind of, like, the reason why he's so charming. But the fact that he was a friend to us- Till, till the very end. Oh my god, and I forgot my tissue box, dude. Okay, hang on. I gotta get the tissue box because I can't continue this let's play with me bawling my eyes out. Brock's character is definitely, like, a really rare one. Like, there, there are very few people in this world who would be your friend and would be honest with you and very blunt. I, I Oftentimes, he didn't even mean it in a mean way, everything he was saying to Kratos and Atreus and everybody in the room. He always did it out of good intention, even though <laughs> even though it sounded mean. But that that's what I mean. Like, he's like a true friend. The fact that he called out Odin's mischievery as being Tyr. 
in in front of everyone even though you know a lot of people probably would have just let it slip by because it's tear right he, he's a nice guy and everything but that's what i mean like he's such a good friend for till the very end protecting everybody like that all right freya come on we gotta meet with them outside The lens seems to be missing. Likely at the funeral. Yeah, Mamir, did you forget? <laughs> be on guard. Oh god. Clear this area. Odin's men are still around. Great. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight some people. <laughs> Ow! What the heck? Why do I low-key feel like I forgot how to play this game? Where you think you're going? Okay, there's more, right? Oh, there is more. Oh my god. Ow, ow! It will pass. Enemies to your left! Wait, they died. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You! This way? Like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, I think I made this a little too complicated for myself. Let me go to the beginning. Maybe that will help. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about this. I could have gone here this entire... You know what? Just don't talk to me. <laughs> Damn it. What is wrong? What? I should have... Changed. Huh? Sewn some morning garb. Oh. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. I don't think Brock would care. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. <laughs> Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. Oh. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Oh, Sindri's not here yet. To a man. You no, might. I think Sinji would be Wait, here. I don't think he would just like not be for the funeral. It's Bear McCreary. <laughs> Sindri!
don't cry or make me cry. <laughs> Sindri. Blackpuss. Mm. I can't let it go. It's bigger the more you take away. That's what the front left behind is a hole for all of them. <laughs> Especially for Sindri. <laughs> oh my god. Let me see what everyone says. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or what have you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> it's true. Forgive Sindri. He's just, uh, I mean, you know. I don't blame him, honestly, because, like, I what I think it's also, it's not the fact that, like, he's upset. Obviously, he's mad. But I feel like I can't help but think that maybe Sindri feels some sort of guilt in all of this. Because, remember, he already saved him once. And then what we were talking about, how Brock doesn't have, like, his whole soul. So, like, where, where does he go after that? There was no way to save him again. So I can't help but think... Sindri blames himself, like, if he if he didn't take that part away from him, this wouldn't have happened to him. There's nothing left for him to be taken away, like Mimir was saying to Atreus before. So I can't help but think that Sindri's not entirely pissed off at Kratos and Atreus and everyone else. He's mad at himself, too. Okay, so there's another thing I wanted to do because uh, a lot of you were hinting at the tier, real tier, I should say, is alive still. So we're gonna go look for him next because I feel like that needs to close out as well. If he's still around and Odin can't stop him anymore, we need to bring him back. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. 
But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? They were. He I've went back in time. That, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. kind of what he did! <laughs> well, that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yom even remembers after all this time. He, and he, he also got was. sent back in time, you know? So that's another thing as well. <laughs> Ravens, the ones we've been destroying. Oh. Odin's little spies. These are Odin's? Oh, interesting. Okay. <gasps> Wait, so this is where um, Atreus was with Thor, right? This is the map, if I remember correctly. Wait, should I go look at that tree first? Hang on, sorry. I, I'm going off course because I'm just so interested to see what's over here. But let's take <gasps> look a look at there. this tree. That path wasn't there before, was it? No. Free army. What? Free of the father. Our half wise man belong to no other. The father. What? Odin, I presume? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. Is this it? Hang on. Okay, search the prison. Perhaps the largest piece of Asgard landed in Niflheim. Off the path of the Raven Tree, I am curious to see where this new path might lead. Are those all the birds talking? That sounds kind of crazy. What if I open these? It's not a trap, is it? <laughs> a gift of life, a gift in death, to smother forever the All Father's breath. Odin must have created these creatures, but how? I haven't the foggiest. They came after oh, my so time with them. Oh, so do you have to? I have to destroy all the ravens? Oh, to okay, I see. Any of Odin's ravens we find. Right. Okay. So I got a thing though. Like, what was that about? Raven's tear. Oh, so we can get like raven armor. That's interesting. Okay, so we have to go d down this path. Let's see what happens. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. Prison. It doesn't look like a prison. It just looks like a rundown building to me. <laughs> this place goes deep. We should head downward. Ah, oh, yes. I'm sure there's nothing especially dangerous at the bottom of an Asgardian prison. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Um. Yeah. Your master is no more. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. If the Ain Harriar survived Ragnarok, perhaps some of the inmates did as well. Let us find out. I wonder, you think real tears in here? Make the haste of prison has fallen in Niflheim. The All Fighter may be gone, but we carry out his ensure the prisoner never sees light of day again. The Queen? Who the hell is that? The Queen? There's only one Queen that I know. Oh, wrong one. So, how do we get over there? This way? I guess? What the? Uh -oh. Okay. Get out of here! That worked. <laughs> Can I break any of these open? How do we get get out of here though? Oh, this way. No. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this just sends me back this way. <laughs> floor down okay this kind of works uh oh 
Ow, what the? Careful, brother. You're covered in my fraud. What's your life? Ow! Nasty, hey? You all right, brother? No, I'm not! <laughs> Damn, why am I so rusty? Okay. Another chain. Shall we find out what this one does? We will. Let's just open this up. Oh, is that an elf? friendly I can tell but I might as well check in in the cells just to see if there's like anything useful that's an elf but not a particularly high ranking one so what did Odin have to gain by imprisoning them I'd huh. say information but why keep them locked up afterward why not just kill them that's true <laughs> what is the point of doing all of that there must be a reason blackmail I don't know <laughs> You don't try to jump scare me, huh? I should not be fighting you in here. I need more space! Oh, Wait. Is this right? Dude, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going now. Okay, so I think I have to lower the one that we've been using all the way to the bottom. That way I can use the second one to get to the top, I think. Here. <laughs> Jesus. What the? Oh, yeah. Whoa, what the? <laughs> oh, I didn't get any resurrection stones. I thought I had some. Okay, let's try this again. Damn! Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Okay, this is gonna be tough, clearly. Wait, did she kill the other guy? Is he dead? Watch your light. Covered in life for us. Use a shield strike. Tear? Freya, I can't believe it. Wait, that can't be. Lord Tear. It's really him! An illusion. No, brother. 
No, I think it's the real deal. Mimir? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, aye. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done... He's dead, bro! Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are. His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Okay. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know uh, you from somewhere. What you do? I'm sure it will come back to me. I mean, we are oh, both no, the really. gods of war. Oh my god, I can't believe you found the real him. Oh man, if only Atreus was here to see him. Ah, this is so cool. When Asgard fell, the true prison holding Tyr fell with it. We happened upon it in Niflheim. Finally, we met the war god of legend. He's different from the one we thought we knew, yet he has been through so much and he needs space to recover. May he find the peace he seeks in this world. So happy we found him. This is the way. This is the way. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming his story's going to continue because it looks like he wants to say more. <laughs> you believe that was truly him? It's hard to trust anything after what we've been through. Right. But with Odin gone, I have no cause to doubt it. Our right. paths will cross again. Of that, I'm What's sure. the point of them lying right now when uh, Odin's gone? Well, now we know what this prison's for. It's for Tyr. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense with this raven tree being here, too. You wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Right. Aye. Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons. But a new Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wonderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. That sounds no different oh. from these lands. Is that Tyr? It was warmer. Wait, uh, how do I get to him? What the hell is he doing over there? Tyr. I would be left alone, please. Of course. Is he just checking out? I guess he's trying to rediscover everything what that he's found. What a beautiful dagger. Impractical. Ceremonial. Ooh, what kind of Aquila from the East? Oh, this is from the other um, pantheons, right? Kila from the East, not the first one I've seen either. An uneducated might assume Kila to be a weapon. They'd be wrong. The slightly less uneducated probably believe the Kila to be used in rit ritualistic human sacrifice. They also be wrong. Reality, the Kila is used in rituals, yes, but never to do anything bloody sacrifice. Instead, the Kila represents stability and strength. You might stab a bowl of grain with it in order to ground yourself in the space you occupy. Despite its appearance, Aquila isn't a weapon of bloodthirsty, but tool of the holy. It can only imprison demons. Cool. I'm just gonna, yeah, let you be. That's a statue over there, right? You spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freyr from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing. <laughs> That's how he lost it? <laughs> That's embarrassing. Freyr ultimately retrieved it. Me too. That's really embarrassing for Freyr. <laughs> Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your Did majesty. Did Kratos just laugh? Unequal force of Vanir and Einherjar must be present at Kratos, all time. Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Hi. Mimir. Lady Sif. Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, your majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Einherjar. 
They'll help us rebuild. They're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I'm glad it's actually I merging out. imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling <laughs> commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleeding at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I <laughs> Everyone's have. always, always insulting Future. him. It's kind of funny. Well, everything appears to be in order here. Diplomacy administered and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? <laughs> oh! Tear? Back to it, then. Where can we set up the farmsteads in the rain? You saved them, Freya. I did nothing. No. I did nothing. Scratching tally marks into you a were in cell prison, the though. What were you supposed to do? You returned to your people, you endured their hatred, you helped them become more. Freyr and his soldiers they survived, they endured. But there's a reason the tide turned when the goddess Freya returned home. Your love of this place, I can feel it, smell it in the breeze. Anyone can. Okay, you know, uh, that I know. Love makes you strong. Yeah. Makes your people strong. That's why you won. I. Thank you. I was gonna say, I guess Odin's impression of Tyr was kind of spot on. <laughs> I, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Is that the bird? Is that hell? Is what Mamir was talking about. She she wants to get out of here. Should we speak with Thrasvulgar? I do speak the ancient tongue after all. Okay, um you talk to her, Mamir. Again, I wish I chances her to see this. She says there's six tears to close and not to expect any thanks for closing them. Okay. Should never have been opened. Yeah. I think that's our cue to go. Yeah, that's kind of our fault, you know. We've spoken to the eagle that presides in Helheim. She watched from afar while I battled the bridge keeper in our prior journey. Now, by releasing Garm, we have opened six tears in Helheim. Um, Har Harvus, I can't say her name, I'm sorry, is not pleased, but does not appear to be our enemy. That is one for the best. Yep. That's good. Let's get the hell out of here. I wonder if anybody's at home at um Sindri's house. We did tell Tyr like we we live there. I don't, I don't know if he knows how to get there, but Mumia. Oh. Did I do enough to prepare the trails? The lad survived bloody Ragnarok. I should think he's as prepared as anyone could be. To survive, yes. But, but everything love. else. Brother? And Roboda. <gasps> Was he? Oh. Well, there were certain topics on which I suppose I may have been a touch more approachable. I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to woo. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, brother, I taught him how I wish I'd wooed. Oh my god, that is. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I still don't know how Kratos managed to get Faye because they're like total opposites, right? I feel like it's the other way around. Faye got him. Yeah, I, it, it is true. Remember in one of the episodes, Atreus didn't even ask Kratos like, hey, what do you do, you know, if you like somebody? He asked Mimir about it instead. Uh, but <laughs> that's kind of sweet that he was I like kind of concerned. will ever come back. Me too. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never right. thought I'd miss their bickering. But it's really not the same place without those two, is it? No. We will maintain not. it until his return. 
Yeah. But yeah, I guess I didn't look at it that way. Like, seeing your um, brother die in your home. You know, how can this be your home after that? You know what? I, I think I should go to my house. I, that's the only place I haven't really looked at. Uh, probably a good idea to go there. See if there's any, like, hidden dialogue or something. Oh yeah, here's our house. Okay. Let's see if there's any, like, hidden dialogue or something. Wait, before I go inside, are, uh, Specky and Spun out here? Oh, they're not. I guess they wouldn't be because they would be on the sled. That's- that's true. Never mind. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, the music. What's that? What is it? Mementos. <gasps> from Atreus's journey. It's Atreus's journal! What will you do with it? Add it to our own. His story is ours, and ours is his. Too right, brother. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Wait, so then that means he came. Oh, <laughs> I guess he just wanted to make sure, you know, his dad had it. And like, see- I, it's also a good thing to like, see from his perspective too, like what he was thinking. Cause, yeah, Atreus had his own journal. He- he had his own thoughts. Oh my god, yeah, I can see his journal. I didn't think about this, but Charlie. We should go to Freya's house. I wonder what Charlie will think. Yeah, we should go see- see, uh, him. We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not going to be very happy with me. Yeah, no. I bet he's going to be pissed off. Hi, Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, you don't look too happy. I'm sorry. I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Yep, it's gonna take some time for for him to forgive her, which I don't, not on blame, cause you kind of left left him out in the cold like this. I know, but I can't stay. There's still things I must do. Kratos, I should look for someone who can watch over him. That's Permanent. a good idea. <laughs> look, there's Tyr again. Is he doing yoga again, sir? Tyr? Is that is Tyr? What is he doing? Talking. Awful quietly. There are other ways to communicate. Is that how he does it? Just by doing yoga? <laughs> Okay. You know, I didn't expect Tyr to be like this, but then again, he's been locked up for like how many hundreds of years, so I kind of get it. <laughs> oh, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Lemire. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Basically, shut up. <laughs> There's Tyr again. I guess he's just going all over the place to see what, what's really happened. Tyr? What happened here? Sergio sacrificed himself for Ragnarok. Perhaps he was able to find peace after all. I always felt sorry for him and Sinmara. She's still alive, if you wish to speak to her. I was in Niflheim briefly. Yeah, we saw you. A weeping emanates from the realm. I think she's grieving. And may grieve for a long while. Yet. I wonder if we can find Sinmara, because I kind of feel bad. It's true. She he did sacrifice uh, himself for Ragnarok. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. Very talented with a sword. Lumia. I meant that literally. <laughs> what? <laughs> she made the best swords in all the isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. 
<laughs> Sir, please tell me you were not talking about your penis. Oh my god, is that rude? With Melnir. Wait a bloody moment. Is that Thor's hammer and his daughter? I'll Ruth? make you proud, Dad. Well, good for her. She's worthy. <laughs> I mean, she always was. Not, no doubt about it in my mind. I'm so happy for her. Wait, where did she go? Can I go follow her? Oh God. Scolder? Am I hearing voices again? Someone's out here. Uh, okay, but where? Oh, there he is. What's this kid doing? You are Atreus's friend. Ah, oh, <laughs> hi, hey, you're Loki's dad, right? Saw you at the whole Ragnarok thing. I'm Skilder. The hi. lad who's been organizing the displaced Midgardians. What are you doing? Oh, uh, Loki told me this story about Odin inviting him to Asgard and giving him an Aesir coin that you threw away, and well, I thought I'd come oh, here and Oh, he's looking for that? It. And I did, if you can believe it. But uh, it's kind of stuck, because you're like crazy strong, apparently. It uh, made, it, made it all the way out here? <laughs> it is yours. You sure? It's probably really valuable. I mean, that's not why I'm after it, but... If I were gonna sell a genuine Asgardian artifact touched by at you least three gods, bird up there too. I think that fetch, uh, well, a whole lot. Probably enough to buy my own boat, set out, and make my fortune. The coin is yours. Good luck to you. Thanks. Oh, that's you so too. nice and, of him. Uh, if you see Throod, uh, uh, never mind. I don't know where you she went. You word of Thor's daughter. Throod? You saw Throod? How is she? She is well. She has recovered her father's health. Ah, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's amazing. Don't you worry. She's gonna do good with that thing. She's I believe an that too. Amazing person. She Probably is my favorite. I mean, not it's like okay. that. It's she okay. Have time for you, boys, it's okay. Just say you like I, her. I don't, I don't she's, just, she's just great. Is it getting warmer? I, I feel like it's getting warmer. How about that thaw? <laughs> this freaking kid. Okay, let me throw out this bird. Do you hear oh. that? Someone's crying. Sinmara. Ah. Uh, Sutter's love. Should we try to tell her what happened? She knows. Yeah, she knows. She would not be crying like that if she didn't. Oh god, I can still hear Sinmara crying in the background. Like, it's very faint, but I can still hear her. And remember what Suter said? He's like, I'm not gonna say goodbye to her because it's better that she doesn't know. But she does know. Thank you. You couldn't hit this child without axe if you tried. Son. You're here! Thank goodness! Hello, Radatoska. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Oh, thank you. I'm assured good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. <laughs> ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Aww. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. Ooh. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Okay. I'll, I'll take that. Oh my god, wait, for all the nine- hang on, hang on, all nine realms? Wait. Can I get to Jotunheim? That'd be great. Is that possible? Oh, I can! Let's go. Oh my god. We can go to Ironwood and go see Anger Boda! Okay, we're going there. Ah, if I had a stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin is gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no. It's from excitement. Hardly any non-giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among a very select few. 
I wonder what what Kratos will think. Cause I, I I'm curious of what he'll say about all the stuff in there. So this is Jotunheim. As beautiful as the stories. And then some. Cool. Is Angra Boda here? Oh, there she is! Company's here, Fen. Fenrir! Angra Boda. Kratos, Vimir, Freya, it's good to see you. I wish to thank you for creating a path out of Asgard for us. Aye, a true pleasure to meet the lassie who saved our skins. Indeed. Your giant stuff magic is truly a marvel. We were so glad we got there in time. Freya, your brother's sacrifice won't be forgotten. It won't. I will say, you've made quite the impression on our Atreus's heart. Oh, there. Oh, you weren't <laughs> thinking it, brother. Ahem. <laughs> You're a chair. Why do I expose Atreus? He's not I even hope here. We cross paths again. <laughs> I imagine we will. There's lots to do, and I'm just getting started. My god, Mimir, why would you do that to the boy? <laughs> Hi, Fan! Oh, wait, what's this? Oh my god, Kratos is petting Fan Mimir! <laughs> Good boy. That's so cute! Kratos? Hmm? The last time you were here was because of Faye, right? You saw this in prophecy. Your son told me. It's a beautiful place to rest. It is what she wished. That's true. We did come to um, here whenever Faye died. You painted these shrines some of them some i finished for my mother your work is beautiful your skill with a brush is unmatched anger boda <laughs> my son he draws he told me although he'd do well to learn from your use of color <laughs> we come from a long line of artisans so he has it in him he just needs some discipline to bring it out <laughs> i like you Oh my god, Kratos approves, approves. Whenever he comes back, hey, your dad approves of Angerboda. <laughs> Angerboda, you are the last giant left in your name. No, actually. My grandmother, Gryla. She's, um, not really one for visitors, but she's still here. She's helping me forage at the moment. After all you've done, lass, she must be so proud to have a granddaughter such as yourself. She... Yeah, yeah. She might be. Someday. Oh. I don't know quite yet, but I think it's a start. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. But the, yeah, that's good. Good to know, you know, they're not the only ones. A flower? A flower. Incredible. Hey, there's some wolves over here. Those are anger bodas all over. Hey, um, speaking of flowers, somebody told me that anger boda kept um the flower that Atreus gave her. Where the hell is that at? <gasps> there it is. She actually did keep it. Aww, she did keep it. That's so sweet. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. So those were the post credit scenes that I really, really wanted to look at to kind of give closure to the story. Obviously, the biggest one was Brock's funeral, and more so, I don't think we can really go and look for Sindri. I don't know where he went. He's just gone, right? So, uh, it's definitely leaving it open-ended to, like, what could happen next. And I personally believe, yes, there will be another God of War game. I mean, like, the way that Atreus left, it sounds like he's gonna come back anyway after he's done dealing with the giants and everything. But yeah, I'm just I'm just really curious to see how that relationship is going to be because I, I'm still hoping for a way for them to fix their relationship. I'm still hoping for that. It was good to have closure for Brock, uh, find the real tier. I, I will say I wish there was like some sort of like, you know, big cutscene with real tier, but you know, there wasn't any. And then also having Thrud become uh, the wielder of Malnir now. So that's pretty cool that she has that. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be starting off with a couple of side missions, uh, with, with a couple of videos, as many as I can for story-wise, because I am curious about, like, other stuff in the realm and to see how it goes. So you may, me, you may see me going back to older saves, 
with Atreus just so that I, I feel like it would be better, especially for Atreus to be with Sindri during certain missions. It, it will make a lot more sense, you know what I mean? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos on God of War Ragnarok. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!